What's up guys, back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you my motorized version of the LEGO Land Rover Defender. So for the motorization of this set, I used the Technic Hub from the 42099 Extreme Crawler set and the same configuration with two XL motors to drive and one L motor for steering. So to make this design, I copied a lot of the designs from Roll 666 model, except for one major difference, is that I actually kept the fake engine and the winch. Right now, the car is in neutral, and as you can see, the motors, the fake pistons will run with the motor, and the winch still works as it's supposed to. Most of the paneling on the set is still exactly the same as, at, as it was originally, except for now, I added these door hinges, and I used the rubber band from the gearbox and the rear door. Here you can see how the door handles work, and they just fit right in there, like that. Now on to the rear. You can see that's where I put the Technic Smart Hub and right under that are the two XL motors for driving it. And the rubber band here on the door is just a rubber band I found lying around the house since the original rubber band is used in the door handles. Now one major problem I have with the set right now is the weight. It's a bit too heavy for the suspension to handle. In the front, I think it's fine, but in the rear, it kind of sags down. It doesn't really bounce back up all the way. So I have an extra set of shock absorbers on the way, and I will put in later. But for now, this is it. And since the entire front section of the model is basically the same as the original except for some pieces in there I had to remove to fit the steering motor in. Not only does the fake engine still work, the steering wheel also still works. As you can see, you can see the steering wheel steering inside the model. This is what it looks like once I took off the roof and the chairs and most of the chassis is the same since I didn't take apart the entire thing. I just took out the, the front gearbox and the rear gearbox and some there's some gears here that for the fake motors to drive with. This gearbox here I did not design. This was designed by the person I mentioned earlier. Roll 666. But there's a difference between mine and his is that mine doesn't have the central differential lock. So this is a two-speed gearbox with a fast and a low gear. And earlier I mentioned how the rear suspension is a bit too weak. So I said I have more, a new, a new set of suspension on the way. And I'll fit that piece right here and the top here. And I just need to push this axle through. So then I'll have three suspension pieces in the back. So that should be stiff enough. There you can see where the steering motor is and this is directly from the motor output straight to the fake engine. And the steering motor is the same as Roll 666 because it's behind the front wheel so I have to use the, f the app upside down to drive it properly. And my model runs the slightest bit faster than Gory 666's model because I don't actually have the wheel hubs, the new wheel hubs that came in the 42099 set because I don't have actually have that set. I purchased the hub and the motors off of Bricklink. So the gearing is slightly different and it'll run a tiny bit faster. And here's another look at the fake engine running. So now I have it reassembled and I guess I'll show you how it drives. So this is the slow crawling mode and you can see 
how fast it goes there. And here's the slightly faster version. Waiting, and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire. Heart on fire. Set my heart afire. And here you can see since the winch still works, it can pull stuff around. So that's it for this video showing you how my Lego Land Rover Defender works. I'll leave the original video for the original model that Brawl 666. He's actually a, a professional Lego designer, so his video is much more higher quality and he also has building instructions for his version of with the model that doesn't have the fake engine. So if you enjoyed the video, please do like it and hopefully this video gave you some inspiration for your motorizing your own Land Rover model. And I'll see you guys next time.